The huge 2007 South Georgia and North Florida forest fires won't soon be forgotten by those who fought those fires and landowners who saw damage to pines and hardwoods that took decades to grow. Rick Trepto reports this week that now is the time for landowners to implement prescribed or controlled burning, a relatively simple technique to prevent future fires. It was April the 16th, 2007. The fire that continued over several weeks in South Georgia and North Florida began. The Georgia Forestry Commission says 560,000 acres in the two states were damaged or ruined. $65 million in damages in just Georgia was done to timber stands. Well, no one wants to see any of this again. So, the fuel for the fire on the ground has to be cut or, more efficiently, burned. Georgia Governor Sonny Perdue in Atlanta signed a proclamation making it prescribed burning week. Legislators and representatives of the various groups were there. We burn a uh, little over a million acres each year in Georgia here. We'd love to see that increase to two or three million acres. The advantages to controlled burning are not just to protect an investment. It goes to saving the forest's environmental impact. It's one of the most effective tools we have for managing wildlife habitat, in particularly those game species out there like deer, turkey, and quail. It's also very important in managing some of our rare threatened and endangered species, such as the gopher tortoise, indigo snake, red cockaded woodpecker. The burning just makes the timber stands look cleaner. Light can penetrate to help growth, and the practice cuts down on insects and diseases. This is the time of year, when it dries out a little bit, that landowners can and should do a controlled burn. But always consult with a local forester or the Forestry Commission office. They can offer assistance with the burn itself or just advice. Meanwhile, the Prescribed Fire Council is made up of the Georgia Farm Bureau, the Georgia Forestry Commission, and groups of landowners. The Fire Council was started in 2002 as a, um, a prescribed fire uh, advocacy group uh, for the purpose of, of promoting prescribed fire as a land management tool for, for healthy forests, for, uh, for wildlife. The National Park Service is a big supporter of the prescribed fire council movement. The National Park Service's Rudy Evenson says in remote mountain and other forested areas previously not considered for controlled burning, they are now. In the southeast, it's especially important for the longleaf pine ecosystem. So we use it in parks from Everglades and Big Cypress in South Florida all the way up through Gulf Islands in the Panhandle. Cumberland Islands on the coast of Georgia is currently exploring prescribed fire options and all the way up through Mammoth Cave National Park and the Great Smoky Mountains. These are experts in forest land management. It would be foolhardy for anyone not to take their advice. To get more fire disaster prevention information, just check with your state forestry commission office. In Georgia, go to gatrees.org. I'm Rick Treptil for the Georgia Farm Monitor.